beautiful yew tree. I think it's one of the most popular ones that most people can recognise because of its association in the graveyards. It's such a beautiful tree and it's a very hardy tree as it can grow in almost any soil and it is very long lasting. The yew tree can live for thousands of years but it's very hard to date it accurately because of its heartwood. Its heartwood in the middle of the tree is known as the blood of Christ and the body of Christ, the sap, which is the living part of the tree on the outer layer, is a pale yellowish colour. So that's the association with the blood and body of Christ, which is rather lovely. Yew trees have got so much history that they are used in all kinds of rituals and wonderful things. This tree is very old and has the most majestic feel. This is St Edward's Church in Stowe-on-the-Wold. These two beautiful yews on the north door growing so wonderfully around the door. It is thought it inspired the doors of Durin in Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings. The fantasy author travelled widely around the Cotswolds. He was educated at Oxford. Did he imagine this was the entrance to the underground world of Moria? I wonder, if you say the word friend, it still won't open the doors. This is well worth a visit, as it really does make you think of a fantasy world. Yew trees are extremely poisonous. They are also known as the guardian and the protector. Many of the yew trees in graveyards predate the churches as they were planted on already sacred sites. Yew has long been associated with the underworld. The yew tree is sacred to Hecate, one of the guardians of the underworld. Hecate means worker from after. Yew purifies the dead as they enter Hades. It is also connected to Shakespeare. Hecate is in the famous Scottish play. The three witches are seen to put gall of goat and slips of yew, silvered in the moon's eclipse, into their cauldron 82, along with other ingredients, before she appears to critique their work. Shakespeare would often use the yew in his plays when talking about poison. That wonderful picture was by William Blake. That's Hecate with her hand on a book of magic. Rather special, don't you think? Yew was often put in coffins. A sprig of yew would be put in the coffin for eternal life and to wade off evil spirits. Yew trees were very popular in Roman times and they would use them in their burial rituals as well. The Fortingall yew tree in Perthshire, Scotland is said to be one of the oldest trees in Europe. It is definitely very old but is very hard to date because the heartwood starts to rot inside and so dating is very difficult. This tree now is completely hollow inside and is supported all the way round. A wall then supports it so that people cannot pick bits off it. It is a beautiful tree. In 601 AD, Pope Gregory advised his flock to stop destroying pagan places of worship and convert into Christian churches. Yew trees are very resilient and the big old trees, as the drooping branches come down, when they reach the ground, they reroot themselves and become their own little trunks and grow and support the tree. 
This is how the yew trees become associated with the underworld, death and rebirth. So it's not surprising these wonderful stories that emerge with such magnificent trees. There are two similar legends referring to yew trees. This is St Winifred. She took shelter under the yew trees in Abergelly, Wales. St Winifred was a chaste young Welshwoman of noble birth who had chosen to devote her life to the services of God. In 660 AD, Caradoc, a local chief's son, lusted after the young nun. In a similar story, the Hooton Virgin, a young priest, lusted after her. St Winifred is said to have stood under a group of yew trees, sheltering from Caradoc, who was pursuing her with his sexual advances. Unfortunately, he got her and decapitated her with a sword. He cut off her head and she became the patron saint of virgins. William Camden, the Tudor antiquarian, told a story of this local virgin in the village of Hooton. She was pursued by this priest with his sexual advances and he decapitated her and murdered her and he hid her head in a yew tree. It became a place of pilgrim where the pilgrims would go to the tree and between the bark and the wood was these hairs that they would collect and this was, the, this was then a place of worship. Hooton became Halifax and Halifax means holy hair. Yew trees once composed a large proportion of the great primeval forest. Only a few areas of yew forest survive in Europe. There are still some nice places like Ireland where you can see these beautiful yews deep in the forest. The only part that isn't poisonous is known as the aerial. This is enclosed in the seed. It's a red fleshy berry-like structure which is open at the tip. It is a special favourite treat of birds, squirrels and dormice. They use the yew for protection and nesting. The leaves are eaten by caterpillars of the Saturn beauty moth. They are highly toxic but they are able to eat them. Although yew trees are very toxic and poisonous. They have been used for all kinds of medicine, from the bark, the branch tips and the needles. The most important medicine is Taxol, which is a cancer drug. A misty walk at dusk on a cold winter's evening, you feel the magic and presence of the trees. The stories of the fairy folk you were told as a child make you look a little closer and see if any are there. The yews with their evergreen leaves, so mystical. The yews reunite us with the consciousness and sensory language of our origin in spirit, where we can be touched by eternity and through that realise unlimited possibilities for transformation and healing. The yew tree has survived virtually unchanged for millions of years and it has the ability to continually renew itself. Yew tree meaning, the oldest meaning, is to be touched by eternity. It is said that you should never move a yew tree once it is established or cut it down. This is considered very bad luck. This beautiful young yew tree is growing next to a bridge. This bridge is known as the magic bridge. It's a very enchanting place. Can you feel this wonderful place 
by just looking at this picture. We hope you've enjoyed the journey of this beautiful tree, the yew tree. This is the second one we've done of our series. The first one was about the monkey puzzle tree, which is just as fascinating. The next one is going to be about cedar trees. Aren't we lucky to have these wonderful trees in this country?